Hi everyone, this is the face of a boy who's done this five times in three hours, thought making a YouTube video would be, oh my god, such fun, and if I have to watch this SNL sketch again, I am going to yeet this microphone into the EU. But, fun story, the origin of this is, and this is not a lie, a Stanford graduate, who is now a, a, a professor, a lecturer, I don't know, he's smart, point is, he sent me this video and he said, Jordan, I want you to analyse this and stuff. And I was like, you know what, Bill? That sounds great. You know what I'll do? I'll, I'll make a wee YouTube video. I'll, I'll you know, I'll get a camera. I'll buy a £100 microphone. I'll realise that I should probably take the posters that I put on my wall when I was 16 years old. Maybe I should, like, update those. No, I won't do that. And I'll watch this sketch that I hate and I, it feels kind of racist a million times. So we're going to watch this. We're going to watch Americans make fun of uh, my culture. Let's do it. Okay, so first mistake, we don't allow commercial aircraft in Scotland. We actually exclusively fly bagpipes. Oh, God! Oh, no, I'm not doing I can't fly this plane! Right, I just want to say at this point, right, I've watched this so many times. Is it just me? See this guy? I don't know what his name is, and I'm sure he's very nice. I fucking hate this guy. He's got, he's just got like a really smackable face. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll go see if the pilot's unconscious. Like I'm, I'm, I'm sure he's nice enough. You know, but you just, there's just some people that you see them and you're like, I hate you. You could be, you could be the nicest guy on planet Earth, and I'd still push you in front of a train. Okay. Like I want the plane to crash. Yes, this is Glasgow Air Traffic Control. Are you in distress? I'm going to give credit where credit is due. She does a pretty good job, but what was she? She was in Ghostbusters or something. What's her name? Bill Murray. She does a pretty good job uh, in this scene. Because it's a hard accent to do. All right. There he is. There he is. What great hair, eh? There's no a TikTok for monikers, big man. There is not a TikTok for monikers, big man, is what we call in Scotland fucking gibberish. Absolute nonsense. I know you're coming on all Peely Wally up. Peely Wally is real. Peely Wally means like all over the place. More Peely Wally. There, but I'm going to have you doing in your skate faster than a whip he gets a hard on, okay? He's telling dogs are getting erections? I don't know. <laughs> like, it's not a face you want to hit. Here is what I need you to do first, okay? Here, deep breathe. He says deep breath. No one talks like that. Absolutely no one talks like that. That's like elvish or something. It's deep breath. Once again, Hollywood is making shit up. I just want you to take a deep breath. Deep breath. You are right, wee man? You are right? That's, see what he says there? Wee man, he calls him wee man. You are right there, wee man? We do talk that. So it's like, it's like, you know, a Japanese layer of like sensei and stuff like that. You call like a boy younger than you wee man and a guy, you know, if you're, if you're also an adult, you would call him big man. So like, if I was at a bar and I called someone wee man, they'd be like, fucking excuse me. But if I say big man, then they'd be like, oh, you're right, big man. And then afterwards, you... You make out. Eh. That's uh, that's how babies are made in Scotland. Right, deep breathe, and you need to stay calm. See what he did there? He went deep breathe. You need to stay calm. That's what we call a Chuter accent. That wasn't Glasgow. That's like people from Edinburgh. They don't exist, and we're going to pretend for the sake of my sanity that uh, we didn't hear that. Why is he up? Would you call it? A there he goes. He said fucking. He says fuck. Your ignorance has betrayed you, America. You're like ha ha. Listen to the little funny. I don't, why are you German? Let's get James McAvoy, and we'll just make fun of their voice. Also, you can't swear on television. No cussing. And what does he say? Uh, fucking. He says fucking on television. Uh, American cookie. Uh, Oreo cookie. Uh, Oreo, no, a Keebler. No, all right. A Keebler. Even the audience didn't know what that was. I don't know what a Keebler is either. Keebler. The Keebler company is an American. Oh, so it's an American thing. Keebler. Uh. That's it. That's... That's a dog biscuit. Those are like leftover M&M's. That looks gross. You know what that is? That is that is M&M's that have fallen to the bottom of the Halloween bowl. And you have left the bottle out. And it's November 4th. And you've went, oh shit. I forgot. I left those M&M's at the bottom there. And then someone you didn't like came over. And you made them cookies. And you put that in it. Broom doodas? No, no. <laughs> I, like... I've watched this five times now, and it's, uh, it's, 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 it hurts my soul. Brun! The colour! Brun! Some people do say that. See, older people, they'll say brun. Like, most people say brown. But there's this really old comic series in Scotland called The Bruins, which uh, I don't know anything about, because it's the type of thing no one under the age of 45 reads. Brown! Aye! 
What's the broom doodah coming in at? I'm so sorry, your accent is very thick. Is it possible to not have it over? No, it's not. It's not. I'm sorry. Is it possible to be in the EU? I wish. Sorry, mate. It's possible for your president to not be a... F you know what? We're going to continue. Have a wee shifty out the window doing it the grunt. Have a... Okay, that's weird. No one talks that. Have a wee shifty out the... G that's like a Rick and Morty thing. I don't know. Grunt. It's ground. No one, no one talks that. Tell me if you can rest your goggles upon Ockintosh and Plane Station. <laughs> okay, okay. This is good. First of all, rest your goggles. I like that. I'm going to start using it. I don't know if he just made it up, but that's good. He said, Ockintosh and Plane Station. Now, number one, it's called an airport. There's no such thing as a plane station. It's known as a distillery. You can get like whiskey and stuff from it. But it is also a special school. <laughs> so when you were younger, if you went to Ockintosh and you, uh, you went the short bus. Can you look at the windy? Okay, she's having trouble there. She's having trouble. Did I eat at Wendy's? <laughs> and we do say window. We do say windy for window. Never. No, eat the windy. Stop. All right, fine. I had Wendy's last week. <laughs> but don't tell Kylie. Listen, big man. I feel like they found tribesmen in the forest. And they have dragged them into the studio and they poked them and they said, Ha ha, say your funny jungle words, jungle boy. And they say, oh, okay, I just want to see the other side of the window. And they're like, ha ha, what are you talking about? It's fidget, because we're only... Do, do you not have Hershey's in the forest? No, there's a wee burgundy thingamajig on the dash. There's a wee burgundy, that's a colour, thingamajig, it's a thingamajig, on the dash, the dashboard. A wee tug. Give it a tug, give it a pull. <laughs> no! That's just ignorance. That was easy to understand, wasn't it? Oh, no, in the name of the wee man. And the name of the wee man is real, and it's very good. It just means, oh my goodness. And it's the type of thing that your gran would say. Like, if you drop your ice cream, she'd be like, oh, in the name of the wee man. That's a wee shame. I thought it was about Jesus, and I was like, did Scottish people think Jesus was really small? And apparently, apparently it was like five. Anyway, it's, it's not about Jesus. It's just the wee man. Uh, right, Radar's got you leaving Scottish airspace. This connection's getting crunchier than a bag of smashed crabs. Right, that's not Scot That's pirate speak. He's not Scottish. He's, he's, he's a plunderer. Okay, we're going to have to patch you over to Welsh air traffic control, get you down to the ground. All right, Godspeed you lot, guys, go out. Okay, so what he did there was very Scottish. Uh, it's called fucking up at your job. He had a line and he screwed it up and we can see the exact moment in his face. Look at that face right there. Right there is the face of a man who came from a little place called Drum Chapel and he's made it so far and he, he just couldn't say the line. And you know what that is right there? That, that's the thumbnail. So thank you, James. That's, that's the thumbnail. Hey, anyone here want a new profile picture? There it is. Okay, well, what's happening? I don't know. It's a meme pic. I think we're on our... That's a meme pic if I've ever seen one. Okay, and then there's some shit about Wales, and it's not very interesting. And it's all made up, because as we know, the Welsh don't exist. Uh, J.R.R. Tolkien made them up. By the way, I also want to say before I leave, you know, I had these wee like LOL like funny Google tabs. I'm like, oh, what's the X-Men? Is James McAvoy gay? I went and Googled is Professor X gay and found this, an article entitled Professor Xavier is a gay traitor. Now, I feel like I shouldn't touch this with like a 10 mile long pole, but this was like someone's dissertation and they put an exclamation mark in the title. Like, not Professor Xavier it misrepresents gays in the X-Men, but Professor Xavier is a gay traitor, exclamation mark. Does that mean he's a traitor to gays, or that he is a traitor that the article writer is calling gay? Now, that's an insult. Um, so I really want to read this, but I feel like I would be sad afterwards. And look, it has, like, cit citations and stuff. This was... There's people trying to cure coronavirus right now. And like, you know, people, you know, Elon Musk wants to go to Mars. What's Jonathan doing in university? Oh, I mean, he's doing really well, you know. He published a paper called Professor Xavier is a Gay Traitor. Still looking out there for jobs. So things may look a little bit different now, may sound different, may look different. Um, that's because it's three days after what you just saw. I was editing it and I was like, you know what? I'm really fucking miserable. Um... <laughs>
But there's there's something special about watching uh, the same sketch five times in a row and, and, and trying to record a video about it. You know, because we're we're used to like bad bad Glaswegian accents in particular. You know, Shrek is like blackface to us. Um, so let me know what you think. But anyway, since I last recorded, we have now left the EU, so uh, I need to go bury my gold before they come for me. Mm-hmm.